Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Here it is again, back again, once again. Riverbend Talon on the Big Z. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company, as Lydia just told us, and by our friend, Mr. Matt Van Vorst of Macias Insurance. Talking tonight with the unknown and the sailing. Nice. How are you guys? Pretty, pretty wonderful. Pretty good. Good. Terrible. That's it's it. Terrible. As soon as you press the always. on button, I got monstrously nervous. <laughs> We're always. All right. The nervous one is the shipbuilder, Noah. Oh. Yeah. Um, Noah. Noah has built our ship. Pisa. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you can't say your actual name. You're, you're a little bit off mic, though, so you're going to have to <laughs> oh, okay. lean yeah, close right. to you. We got to trade off pretty good. Your there. lovely lead singer who's right to your right side there. That's Would me. You, yeah. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Would you like to introduce Austin Keys, or should I? I think probably you'd be, do a better job. Okay. You know him s- swelly. <laughs> I do. Swimmingly, one Swimming. might say. Swimmingly. Swum. Yeah, that's, Swum. Yeah. You know him swum. He swam right into my heart <laughs> as soon Thank as you. I walked in here. Thank you, yes. <laughs> I feel that way when you scream. Yeah, most I people do. I get touched. The ladies like Deeply. <laughs> like all the way down. That is a very good I'll- touch. You're getting me hot and bothered. I know. Right there, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have to take off my jacket. <laughs> I, I'm nervous about introducing the next person to you, right? Because I don't, un- I don't know if I should introduce him as the drummer or the mm. rapper. Mm. He's the myth. I am <laughs> the legend. Mm-hmm. Right. Because when I say rapper, it's not part of Unknown and Sailing I'm talking about. Not yet. We have a verse. There's a verse. Oh. There's yeah. one Quaid verse. Yeah. Go ahead, Isaac Grew, and introduce your drummer. Our drummer is the great Quaid Nash, mm-hmm. a.k.a. L-Y-K-D, mm-hmm. Lil AKA. Young Quaid, the Destroyer. <laughs> right. Check and him it, out on Spotify. Thank you. Oh. Yes. And that's <laughs> Isaac Grew, and he's the guitar player and composer of the band. I play guitar and compose right. and <laughs> sing a little bit. Yes, badly. and he is also playing the part of Pigpen tonight. Hi, I'm also Pigpen tonight. Right. <laughs> If you want to do a pig pen impersonation, just laugh at all your own jokes. <laughs> <laughs> See how that works? You sounded at, just like him. At one of the uh, <laughs> at one of the family festivals, he came up and told us like a whole Dane Cook joke. Yeah, it was a <laughs> Daniel, Daniel Tosh, Tosh yeah. a whole Daniel Tosh bit. Yeah, and ca- and claimed it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He, he owned it. it. He did it well. <laughs> he walked off, and we're like. Yeah, he that wasn't his bit. It was the whole two-minute <laughs> Daniel Dosh bit. Yeah. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> Knocked it out of the park. Yeah, he is out of the park tonight, so uh, Isaac Gruen will be playing the part of... Pig Pen. We know him as Crap. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he's the one also... one and only godfather. Right. He's also your godfather. He is. So there you go. So yeah, if you're noticing the word Gruen, he's related to Kevin Gruen. I am related to Kevin. You didn't Gruen. think I was going to go there first, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I expected the other. We've been saying your cousin's name quite a bit. Oh yeah, he's been playing a ton he's of gigs. Been, yeah. He's been super yeah. busy. Been busy. Sure. He's been busy. He's been busy, mate. Yeah. He's been busy, mate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the other Gruen is the Darren Gruen from Cottonmouth. The Darren mm-hmm. Gruen, the great father. All right. So the last time we had Unknown and Sailing on, you were about to play Trinity River Fest, a.k.a. pre the thing that happened. Mm-hmm. Right. And then we switched from live performing to virtual performing. Right? Yeah. That was going to be our first real mm-hmm. gig. Were you guys the very first band that day to see if this is going to work? No, I think there was like two before us, but we missed our time slot <laughs> by like an hour. <laughs> so I was like having problems with the video and getting the stream to work. Mm. And uh, yeah, so ours like played during somebody else's. But uh, there's yeah. another part to the story that I wonder if it came into play. And that's you were in a head shop. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. But you were in a town that had Wi-Fi, I guess, down there, right? Uh, we like re- we pre-recorded the <laughs> oh, okay. the stream, and then we were gonna stream it and like say hi. So you end. were you were gonna try to go live? Mm-hmm. Okay, we were gonna go live, play the video, and be like hi. Right. Uh, but yeah, that was like uh, we just ran through the set. Uh, Quay had worked at our local head shop and asked if we could play in there. Right. I guess we should shout them out. Peace of mind. You should. Since they uh, peace yeah. of mind and Sullivan, and there's some other locations. 
pretty cool thing, actually. But yeah, I, yeah, I don't really think cool. I'd seen a performance. And also, surprisingly, sounded really good in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, we didn't, but <laughs> yeah. the room we did it. <laughs> like the drum, yeah. I, it sounded okay. For, yeah. yeah, I didn't think it but, was uh, awful. And nothing fell off the walls. That would have been Which expensive. Was super rad, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so it was back in April when you guys of uh, 2020 when you guys were on with uh, me, mm-hmm. and that was we had to switch over. To doing things, uh, I guess you call it virtually. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that the big word the kids are using these days? Virtually, yeah. Right. And I had never... (laughs) It's virtually the only word they're using. (laughs) Right, right, right. (laughs) I'm learning. So so I had to uh, use you guys as guinea pigs because I had never done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the the first time I'd really done any kind of... I love uh, guinea pigs. I love how you guys edited yourself... To make it look like you were in the same room, but technically, you know, you guys were social distancing. And yeah, the mandates mm-hmm. and stuff wouldn't allow us to hang out. So <laughs> yeah, that was super, yeah, yeah we were in our own house where we lived together. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Which we did point out. So. Yep. But a lot's happened since then. Because was was the Wander single even out yet? No. I don't even remember. No. no yeah, because we, we talked about putting it out on there, and I was like, a month or two. And then I was like, three or four before... That's kind of the way we roll. But you did have the uh, other EP, Forlorn. Forlorn, yeah. Forlorn, that's yeah. it, yeah. Yep. So that was way back in 2018. You guys felt like veterans by then, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Two whole years and <laughs> totally. three band names. Well, it's like we, we'd kind of made a mistake <laughs> and put it out like the very end of 2018, too. So our, uh, our second EP was actually only like a year and two months behind the first one, but it looks like two years. Mm-hmm. Um, and so now... The, the latest one, The Island of Misfit Tune, mm-hmm. that's, uh, what, a year old almost? Yeah, just it's about. Close, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, February 20th. It'll be a year old. February 20th. Mm-hmm. So uh, is there a reason you guys came in tonight? You want to talk about something that's coming up? or We do. Oh. We do have a special gig at the Red Flag. You guys should come out. Pull up the uh, the dang poster so uh, uh, that we can read off what's yeah, going on. Yeah, sure. Let me. Uh, but let yeah, me... the sixteenth at, at the Red Flag, we're playing a show um, with um, various video... other bands. I, I got this under control. It Hang changes on. a lot because uh, videotape is a band name, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Videotapes yes. one. Videotape. Uh, buy her candy. You buy her candy mm-hmm. through burning eyes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Precarious Situation was supposed to play, but ah. I guess they're not. Yeah. That's a precarious situation. Yeah, yeah. So that they found themselves in one. In one, sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, come out. Uh, it's our first, like, show at a bar where they're like, you guys are the top of the Food flyer. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Well, come plus, out. uh, you know, with your guys' uh, expertise and, uh, not so much uh, sound people's expertise. That's one of the places that uh, vibe with your sound and uh, have worked out for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Red, Red Flag, was, I guess it's it's owned by the people that used to own FUBAR, and right. we used to go and see a lot of sh- like metal shows there, underground mm-hmm. shows there. And, uh, yeah, surprisingly, they keep asking us back, so that's really cool. And, yeah, it sounds good there. They're really nice to us. Yeah. I think it's because we show up. Yeah. Like, it might be. <laughs> they keep asking us to come play because every time we played a show there, it's been us and one other band. Because the other bands are just like, "Hey, we ain't coming. We ain't calling." I think yeah. most of the time it's been uh, the big thing that uh, yeah, you know, the people big. people tend to sniffle, snipe, yeah, they snipe. <laughs> yeah. Get so, the uh, how, you're familiar with St. Louis. Could could you explain to our listeners who may not know exactly where Red Flag is, like something nearby that? They could totally get close to it. Hmm. Or is there nothing? There's a place it's, that uh, serves margarita ice cream <laughs> yeah. right across the street. That I don't sounds know like called. a home of the ice cream martini. It's on yeah, that's uh, ice cream martini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Shout on out to ice cream martinis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still haven't had the one. great, the great famous ice cream martini. <laughs> it's on Locust Road, like uh, off of Olive, uh, pretty close to 44. It's probably different for me to get there than most people because yeah, we live way out in the middle of nowhere. Right. You're coming from. S- 44 way down yep, there way south yeah yeah bourbon as bourbon. a matter of fact that is a real place yep. yeah yeah we not, live in the great town of bourbon we just uh, got running water last week yeah, yeah. population 1200 now, now there's a <laughs> giant water tower there so that's not it's full of whiskey <laughs> oh okay <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone thinks that when yeah, they go it's, by it's, but it's, it's now true. we have verification yeah from austin keys of course yes so you know it's true mm-hmm. it is very true mm. 
So I was thinking about your uh, last uh, release, The Island of the Misfit Tunes, and I was looking at the uh, cover, and I'm thinking, is this an ice mountain that you guys are jamming on? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, that's the and, island. And there's an iceberg floating by mm-hmm. with someone on it. Is yep. that Billy? No, it's Yukon Cornelius. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know I meant Billy Pilgrim. Yeah, I do. Okay. I well, do. I just curious there you know billy pilgrim doesn't make a uh he he, he very well could have made an appearance in the um um in the island of misfit tunes cover but um unfortunately he was unstuck in time and couldn't make it (laughs) so i'm thinking is this an arctic island um it's in the north pole (laughs) oh north uh, so has admiral bird been there (laughs) Uh, admiral (laughs) akbar Captain America's very I've dead. heard he went to both poles. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he went to both poles and he flew inside the earth at one of them, possibly the north one or the south one. Who knows? It's one of the two. Right. It's got to be. It's got to be. Flip a coin. But <laughs> there's there's, yeah, the same pole. It's just there, a little wormhole. There was a tropic paradise, right? But if you read his diary, one of the cool stories is he was flying over this ice patch and he looked down and he's like, that's an odd animal running across there. It almost looks like an elephant. And then he swoops down on it. He's like, nah, it's a mammoth. This is 1930 something. Mm-hmm. You guys know anything about mammoths <laughs> on the Misfit? What you know about the mammoths? Island of Tunes. <laughs> the mammoths running around. I know that Billy Pilgrim's got something that's a mammoth in size. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was tremendous. <laughs> He's checking. Quoted in the book. Yeah, it's in the book. <laughs> Just diving into this album cover now. Who who created that artwork? It was me. It was oh, you. Isaac. Yep, I did it. Quaid drew the faces of the people. I did not. You didn't? I thought that was did the, you just the rip peaches. them from the little peaches. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so Quaid made the initial art that we had a sticker of and we had a T-shirt of. That's like all of our faces, but uh, in Quaid style. And I kind of put those on bodies and. Uh, Sent them to the Island of Misfit Tunes, and they're there hanging out with Yukon Cornelius and the Misfit and uh, some the Misfit Toys. There were some animals. There was a dog. Yukon had a dog, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And there was something else on the island. I'm not remembering. There's a train with square wheels. On on the iceberg? Yeah, there's a... There's on the a, iceberg? I don't remember snowman. what's on the iceberg. The abominable, yeah, the, snowman. the abominable oh, snowman's snowman peeking his head up over the... Yeah. Yeah, a lot of hidden images in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can see all of yeah. us standing there playing, and you might notice that I'm standing just as awkwardly playing the bass on the island as I do in real life. Wow, <laughs> uh, so scared there, to move. <laughs> there is some uh, truth to this uh, Man, photo. I, I just stand there, laser focused on shredding the bass as quickly <laughs> as possible. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> laser yep. focused. Is he really laser focused? He is laser focused. Okay, that's well, been he verified is. now, yeah. Noah. Mm-hmm. Noah laser focused peasy over here. Mm-hmm. I mean, you were able to sail a ship for forty days and forty nights. That easy. takes it's the lazy. Thing I've ever done. <laughs> There's no lazy to that. That's laser. That's laser. Laser. So uh, yeah, I was checking out that. Uh, what is that? An EP still? Because there's like six songs on that, right? Uh, I didn't call it an EP, but it's kind of like right in that. Uh, it's, it's in like the middle of the road. 25 minutes, so it's not quite a full length, but it's, yeah, I don't know. Usually, like, four songs is an EP, so uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Right. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Okay. <laughs> that works for me. A collection of six songs. Yep. I have to say that, you know, Good From Afar is my tune. Heck mm. yeah. Heck yeah. We I were we pulling on which song uh, was our favorite to play live, and that's all, basically everybody, so yeah. yeah. It one. smacks, if I must say. <laughs> yeah, it is a it is a smacker. Now these are recorded drums on this release, right? Because we were talking about whether you were going to do that or not last time you were here. No, the r- drums on uh, Misfit Tunes are not recorded okay. uh, on the Wander song and on like our Trinity Live and on the n- the whole next round of songs we're doing definitely live drums. Okay, okay. So we're, uh, we're and we we're, we do have a song recorded currently with some uh, Quaid <laughs> slapping on the drum skins. <laughs> no, and I must say it smacks. <laughs> it also smacks. <laughs> That's not the one in the video where he's like showing you guys where you guys are showing how you put together a song. Uh, in the Wander video, mm, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. I watched a lot of stuff today. The wa- the Wander video, which is like us in the shed, which was Austin's shed in his backyard where we used to practice, is uh, yeah, that was that was live drums. That was Quaid smacking on the drums, and yeah, we recorded that song and set up and recorded it one day, and 
put it out there. Mm-hmm. But no, all the stuff on the EP is uh, is fake drums. Get good drums, right? So uh, if you want some good fake drums, yeah, I was busy <laughs> Yo, dude, they're not good. Uh, yeah, so good Quaid, good. I didn't I didn't have the mics or the space to like record right. drums well. We were in a shed, so I, Quaid and I spent like two days recording all the drums, and then I used that to like program Quaid's actual parts to the songs. Yeah. But yeah, on this, uh, we're trying to learn our new set of songs before we record them because our we we kind of work backwards in that way. Where oh. I'm kind of the only one that knows how to play them until they're out. <laughs> We just catch up. <laughs> I got it. I got it. That, yeah, that's the, been the evolution of the process. Mm-hmm. But I have to say, Quade, you're a great spokesman for the band. You're doing kind of that thing on the videos, I noticed. Um, I'm real good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast cereal on everything. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey, look, I got to tell the folks what's going on around the Rivermen while I talk to the band Unknown and Sailing, who's going to be playing this Sunday at the Red Flag right yes sir and uh one thing that happens every thursday night right here in downtown alton and since you guys are into ships or possibly just sailing and not a ship as we found out last yeah. time it's which, unknown right? it's it unknown is. it's totally <laughs> it's unknown. unknown but there is a wrecked ship on your album cover mm-hmm. which means no slack in a little or you hit something very hard <laughs> didn't build that one. you didn't build that one it's pretty you're you're Pretty tired bad. of building. I'm just it's gonna buy it. Ship. Okay, I got you. I IKEA got ship. You. I yeah. wanted to get down to that because I seen it was cracked in half. Yeah. That's not yeah. good. Hit a hit a rock. It was very a rush hard. project. Really right. mm-hmm. <laughs> had to had to pre-order it. Have you heard of a sea shanty? I love sure. sea shanties. You do. <laughs> They're fantastic. Right. Once there was a man who put two C. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. every yeah. Thursday yeah. night we do sea shanties right here in downtown Alton at the Morrison's Irish Pub nice. from Sweet. six to nine. Nice. You guys could join in after the show. So I'm just saying. We're, we're headed there. I, I'm just saying. Jeez. We're headed there after this. Can we just this. go now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can yeah, we invite them here to yeah. sing? <laughs> or you can invite everyone listening to come down and sing with you. I mean, oh, mm-hmm. there's a lot of options out there for you guys. Do they have a hurdy-gurdy? Uh, I'm sure they do. Fantastic. I'm sure they do. <laughs> so I don't know I'm if it's... I'm for a gurdy you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if it's present, but, you know, <laughs> it could be. So, anyways, also going on tonight, cross the line at Fast Eddie's, uh, starting at 7, Derry Garcia's Lonesome Blues at the Conservatory tonight. So, the Conservatory is where I need to point you guys, because they like original music. Look elsewhere. And they like (laughs) Showcase, and I think you guys would go real well with Lofty's Comet. So, Lofty's Comet, if you're listening... Get unknown and sailing to uh, jump aboard a, a show. I think you should go down there and talk to Justin Level for real. Okay, that's just that's where you guys would fit in best. Okay, because they like original music. Heck yeah, right. we like people who like original music. All right. Also going on tonight later is the open mic night at Raging Cajun in downtown Alton. We do some open mics on Thursday night, including one going on right now in Godfrey. Started at five o'clock with Everheart and Light at uh, Baker's and Hale. So, uh, Thursday night's kind of an open mic night around town. Matt Awaterscheid up at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. That's almost your old stopping. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's your dad's old stopping ground. Yeah, I didn't. Did you ever get up that way much? I probably stomped there once or twice. <laughs> 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 right, no, right. We, uh, we left when I was pretty young. Yeah, yeah. Jim Strickland, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville tonight. The Black Arrow Bard, 7 o'clock at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. And uh, Every Little Thing at Prairie Inn in Dorsey. That was kind of close to, what was that place you lived near Bunker Hill? Uh, was that actually Bethalto or Edwardsville or something? You were we lived in Edwardsville, into, yeah, like by like a big pond. Sort of a pond, yeah. 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 A dog used to jump the fence and go swim. That's true. I think uh, Scrap's car swam one night. I mean, Pigpen's car. Was that his that rolled into the... I th- yeah, I do vaguely <laughs> remember that, yeah. Right. Anyway, so you guys are playing Sunday, and uh, what can you tell us about some of these other bands? Do you know them, or how did this all get set up? We uh, know that they're very kind people. Right. Don't know anything about them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm excited to play with yeah. them. Yeah. I, I, the, all the bands what we've played with the... so far have been really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've all been great performers that big hype shows you know mm-hmm. for like the few people that come out and see us hey, right the, the hundreds of people yeah, that sorry, come out the and see hundreds us. of people well, thousands i'm really. surprised you got tickets left yeah i mean they're sunday we shows. don't they're sold out usually no, yeah. no they're not sold out yet but yeah <laughs> unknown and sailing facebook page <laughs> <laughs> <Tickets for sale. laughs> right 
So you might be able to sell a few tonight. It'd be great. I'd yeah. love to see more people come yeah, out. Send yeah, send us a message yeah. on Facebook. Send right. us $12 on Venmo or Cash App or whatever. S- a pack of Trident s- layers. Son of a gun, gun and thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty spot sure. I'll spot you the 12 bucks if you give me. <laughs> <laughs> what was Trident that? Trident layers. <laughs> Trident layers. Yeah. Trade Quaid. Trident layers. <laughs> for 12 bucks. And then trade that 12 bucks for a... Uh, Take ticket it. to our show on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Nice. That's a plan. That's I like, a, that's I like how you're wheeling and kneeling. That's good. Sponsored by And uh, you guys Sponsored are in town Friday. tonight, so if somebody wants to like come down, they can get one. Yeah. Or did you forget them? No, we definitely didn't bring them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a long drive. I just drive. said, yeah, I expected nobody to come. <laughs> <laughs> There's a line outside right now, dude. Okay. Did you know the next big band? You know what I seen on, uh, and and I just noticed this for round two of uh, what is that one called over at Sage, uh, the point, the point uh, uh, battle for pumps. point fest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The battle for point fest, right? This would be cool if they did this for your red flag shows. I don't know if they do this, but now when they're doing the point fest show, when you want to sell your tickets, because that's p- part of that competition, right? Is mm-hmm. selling more tickets, right? You can just type in the band's code name. For, for the code, you know, when you buy your tickets, you type in unknown and say oh, yeah, that way that ticket sale goes to that band. Heck yeah. Mm. You're suppo- that's supposed to work with our, I don't know if you can actually buy tickets online to the little shows, but maybe try and get on Red Flag's mm-hmm. website and I think buy you can, tickets. maybe. I don't know. They sell tickets online for but, sure, but yeah. I don't know. If not, if you don't see it, put a note in there that says unknown and sailing rocks, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure they'll attribute it to us. <laughs> that, that's a good idea. Yeah. I like how you're thinking. Yep. Yep. That's good. That's good. Everyone thinks unknown and sailing rocks. <laughs> Never yeah. met someone who had. Yeah. yeah, you haven't met many people. Though. That's true. <laughs> I live in a very, very, <laughs> very small town. Yeah. How many? What is the population of Bourbon? Like twelve. Yeah, twelve hundred. Twelve people. Somewhere yeah. between twelve and twelve. <laughs> very like yeah. bare minimum seven of them. Yeah. Seven yeah. of them. Yeah. Right there. Now Isaac, you grew up all over the place, but uh, Noah, you grew up close to bourbon right yeah i've lived in that area code basically my whole life like rich was just all of and bourbon and leesburg are all in 20 minutes of each other yeah what about you two uh i grew up in bourbon bourbonites yeah. yep same is that what they call them bourbonites yeah pretty much yeah that's you nailed it yeah wow I was trying to think of something witty to say there. But I, I was just, wanting you to say I, something witty. I really just didn't have it's it. It's like I'm hanging out here. I know. I saw you looking he, at me with those eyes. He was a comedy you're man. You are just like, yeah, burp idiots. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, so uh, not many places to play down there, I guess, huh? Uh, we got the local town Isaac's tavern. Basement. <laughs> yeah. My basement. You can. We so, built a stage in a field. Oh, we did play it. We did play at a right. charity show. Yeah, that was our first actual live show, and it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was super Did we dope. play that show? We played in a park with you guys somewhere, or one of your bands. I thought, I or maybe you just oh, put yeah. us in a. Maybe team. I, don't I don't remember. Forty three percent burnt played that night. Yeah. Okay. Forty three percent burnt. That's right. <laughs> that's yeah. kind of how I feel about my answer. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's about right. Right. Yeah. So you decided to take your single "Wander" and put it on the on the on the last record. Mm-hmm. I it guess as a record, it could be an EP. Yeah, yeah. It did take a long time for the, <laughs> the record to come after the single, but right. yet yeah, I kind of thought it. Uh, it all those songs were written in the same time frame as "Wander." It just takes us a long time to put things together. I guess it sounds really good, though. Hey, thanks. Yeah, That's I'm all, all into your tone. Into the tone, really? Yeah. yeah, I don't know if we can talk about it on air. <laughs> it's a secret. The tone's a secret. Yeah. yeah, it's a big secret. So you got like this, you love your jazz chords, right? Just like your dad. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Right? And so, but yours is way cleaner, I would say. More. Well, thanks. Compared to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, oh, the, the tone, yeah. Right? yeah. The t- cleaner, uh, not uh, technique uh, like, uh, yeah. Don't get too excited <laughs> like, now. Well, Calm down. Me. Calm down. <laughs> I was uh, like, oh, cool. No, I'm talking about you no, went yeah, more definitely. for a clean tone than, than the distorted side. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like – it's kind of the same amps that my dad likes just with, like, the gain turned down okay. to, like, the edge of distortion. Right. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I like it. That way I could play soft and it's quiet and pretty and loud and it's kind of heavy or kick on a distortion and it's really heavy. Right. It's like some contrast. 
right? Mm-hmm. And then you do some vocals, and then you got you got Austin here to to really emphasize words. Yep. Oh, that's how, how about that? Yeah. How about that? Huh? I think from now on we're going to list Austin <laughs> as word emphasizer. The lead emphasizer, <laughs> right? Oh, man. Yeah. Just in case you didn't hear that, he's going to yell it real loud the next time around. Mm-hmm. And if we got a bad sound guy, it'll be really, <laughs> really loud. Really loud. <laughs> <laughs> I never felt it so far down in my groin. Until <laughs> <laughs> Me either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. I felt like I got kicked in the groin. Wow, after that set. Yeah. So, but that wasn't the first time you guys smashed into a, a, a problem with sound, right? No, no, <laughs> no. We so have, you were experienced at that point. We have had a few um, issues with sound in the past. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I've I've done as much as I can to like mitigate our end of it, we, like with the in ear rig and stuff, uh, but. Yeah, if a stage is not enough power to turn my amp on, it makes it <laughs> it makes it a little tough. And during that show, our computer turned off twice, mm-hmm. and uh, it's never done that in the basement. <laughs> yeah, well, that electricity was a big part of that, right? Yeah. Because we're running off generators there, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and then they switched out the generator, I believe. Look, someone's calling. Whoa, I don't really? know if that's really a call. <laughs> it's probably not. They're going to freak out that they're even getting put on. Probably bail. <laughs> But it could be, so let's take it here. You yeah. guys won't be able to hear this, but okay. <laughs> here we go. Hey, you're on Riverbend Talent. Who am I talking to? They're scared. They're not talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is afraid. Not going to talk? Not yeah, going to talk? Like, we don't know what they said. <laughs> yeah. No, they Quite didn't say anything. That's like, it. Whoa, I thought didn't this was say pizza anything. <laughs> You guys did order pizza, didn't you? I knew it was something like that. Man. You guys like pizza then, huh? No. They don't even have pizza and bourbon, do they? No. I didn't no. think so. That's a city folk What's type pizza? Thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's your last name, isn't it, Noah? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, if you don't know how to say it, that you're going to get closer. Anything. It's, it's, it's been pronounced so many ways. It, it could really be interpreted or misinterpreted. <laughs> you know, but yeah, especially when you spell it. And, yeah. I mean, oh, it, it gets crazy it's then. atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. So what's this fancy rap name you had? Mm. <laughs> yeah, tell us. Are, are they embarrassing you by bringing that up? I mean, I haven't done anything in like two years. But you still got more views. Uh, Probably. Because <laughs> I'm just we got cool. more streams now. <laughs> Well, I don't know what you want me to say. I'm just cool. It doesn't. Either way, you you split it. Quaid is a part of the unknown and sailing views too, so he's yeah. definitely got more oh, yeah, views. Yeah, than he us. double it. Right? Quaid's the coolest member in our band by far. And I just remember you yeah. saying that last time mm-hmm. that that you guys were in. I don't know if we brought that up on air, but uh, that he had a YouTube channel, right? Mm-hmm. Tell us about your YouTube channel. What has been inactive in two years? Nice. Uh, <laughs> there is a bunch of hot garbage on it. If you want to go listen to that, they can't ban it. Just say catchy. words fast, and sometimes you can kind of bob to it a little bit, mm-hmm. right? Tell them about when you were on the, the TV. Oh yeah, I was on Ridiculousness one time. Is that a TV yeah. show? Yeah, Rob Deerdeck, <laughs> probably the most famous person like in Bourbon. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the most. <laughs> so, what's this TV show you're talking about? Wow. It must oh, be your remember dick America's dick. Funniest yeah, Home yeah, Videos. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's that like guy that, just died. It's cool. And yeah, it's, oh. it's really. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. Mr. Skateboard Man in the, in the thing. Yeah. But it's still home videos. Yeah. Yeah, basically. He was making out with a dude. Or no, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was think like, him and a dude were making out. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they were making out with a couple of chicks. Yeah, we, we were, like, another we dude. were handcuffed <laughs> together for like a little scavenger hunt thing. We had to be handcuffed together for 24 hours. Wow. And it didn't count unless we made out with strangers together. So, wow. Yeah. I, I've never heard of this yeah. show. Can you catch us on, can you find a, I've MTV. Tried. Tried. Yeah, yeah to it's the it. only I thing that tried. plays on MTV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. If you turn on MTV, TV right now, ridiculousness is on. Okay, right. I just sit all okay. day, every day, waiting for me to be on the TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if maybe somebody had, uh, you know, made their own version of it and put it up <laughs> somewhere. That happens. These I think days. I got a video of it on the LYKD page. Okay, so what was that again? What do you say? L Y K D. L Y K D. It's Lil Young Quaid the Destroyer. Okay, we're getting down to brass tacks now. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So like I thought this is about unknown and sailing. <laughs> <laughs> Quaid He's the most famous know. person in bourbon. This is, you guys know, wouldn't actually, even I be. stole the show. I should count my blessings. Like, he's shouting us you out. You guys 
think it's because I know Isaac and Noah that yeah. you're getting on here, but that's not it at all. <laughs> if you wanted to talk to him, we know. I, I see your angle. I got, I got a message from Isaac saying it was going to be Austin and Isaac, and I was just like, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Because I wanted to talk jokes on you. We brought the coolest person in bourbon with us this time. Right, Noah. (laughs) Right. (laughs) No. (laughs) No, no, no. It's just something we didn't really touch on that much last time that we talked uh, virtually, Mm -hmm. right? And we got more time to cover tonight. So yeah, I had to. I had to reach. So Austin, are you offended that I'm bringing up your rap partner over here? You know, (laughs) as. As the lead singer of Unknown and Sailing, uh, my ego is massive. <laughs> and I really thought that you'd be here to talk to me. Yeah. And these guys were just a sideshow. Remember when I pitched it to you earlier and you had nothing? <laughs> I had a plan. I know. There, see, stop. He, he underhanded it. You're asking the hard it. questions. I didn't know this was Crossfire. He threw it really I slow. I thought this was a Happy Fun Time radio show. Well, that's a guy that laughs at himself that's not here. The Happy Fun Time guy. <laughs> I get down to real, real conspiracies. The like the fact that you guys probably know Admiral Byrd or some type of relative to cool. him, and you're trying to reference <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're giving me the cut sign. That's only happened one other time, folks. And it was when you brought up Admiral Byrd the last time. I was like, cool it about that. It's a cool story, though. I mean, come on. Hollow Earth? How cool would that be? It's tropical. Maybe we can get a show there. How right. is it tropical with no sunshine? There's a I'm sunshine telling inside you, man. the There's earth, Doug. Yeah, yeah, see, you're getting All right, it. Shines from the center. Pull YouTube video. I don't buy it. I see do we have a three-hour rabbit yeah. yeah. Do we have three oh, yeah. hours and 45 minutes for a Hollow Earth no. theory no, <laughs> YouTube don't, video? Dang. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> no, I've watched. I've watched. <laughs> I've watched them. Don't worry. I've gone down I've spent there. three hours. <laughs> Aliens and dinosaurs and rich people. There right. are dinosaurs in Hollow Earth, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which ones? Uh, pterodactyl, for sure. What else? You know, Haven't you seen you know Journey what? to the Center of the I've Earth heard, with the rock? I've heard uh, T-Rex. I bet I'm there's a saying. lot of rocks in the center of the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the rock feels most at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Colonel Billy Woodward. Barely. Hollow Earth. Do that video. You got it. They interview him. What's Colonel? Is that like the new Google? Uh, <laughs> he, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> the story is, okay, that they brought him up here as a child and another family raised him. He was super intelligent, like in high school, and the military drafted him. And then they found out what was going on and sent him back to Hollow Earth with messages. He tells the whole story. Hey, there's a caller again. Let's see if they got brave. (laughs) You're on WBGZ on Riverbend Talent. We're talking to Unknown and Sailing tonight. Are you going to the show on Sunday? I'll be there. Oh, he'll be there. Who are we talking to? Hey, it's Marshall with Happy Trails. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping you might call in tonight. So uh, you guys guys had a uh, show scheduled for this weekend on Saturday at Mineral Springs, right? Jamming at the Springs. And, yes, uh, we that, did. That is not going to happen. I heard. No, yeah, we uh, we had to pull the cord on that show. Um, too many people, you know, coming down with the virus, right? And uh, Happy Trails events at Mineral Springs in the past have, you know, brought you know close to four hundred people, four hundred plus people in that room, and uh, we didn't want to run the risk of getting that many people together. Um, so I talked with the owners of mineral springs and we decided to uh, go ahead and postpone that show and you know we're, we're looking at some dates in april possibly for it though all right and then uh you also had the after party scheduled is that going to be canceled as well do you know no the after party is uh at the conservatory and we're going to go ahead and still do that one um it's uh you know that's smaller then Mineral Springs and, uh, you know, those of us that are vaccinated and feel a little bit more comfortable getting out, you know, masking up and getting out, we're going to uh, get together and still play some music. And uh, for a lot of us, it's been a while since we've been on stage. So we're eager to get back and play some music for some people. So we're going to still do the after party. We actually, instead of starting at 10, we're going to start uh, around 9 o'clock Saturday evening and go till about 1. All right, that's and, awesome. Uh, yeah, and we'll still have members, uh, Cluster Pluck, Old Salt Union, Stone Sugar Shakedown. Um, Billy Nelson's going to come out and play as well, and then some of those guys are going to stick around and do the Super Jam with us. So. 
Cool. Sounds good, man. Uh, nice to uh, have that option, actually, you know, because a lot of things have been canceled in the past and that's it, right? But this time, at least you have, uh, you can get some of that energy out of you still, right? Right. Yeah, that's the idea. Uh, still try to have a little bit of fun, um, even though we, we did think it was a good idea to go ahead and cancel the bigger show, you know, down the road. Um but there was a, uh, you know, there was a lot of people that were still interested in getting together somewhere and playing. So, all right. Well, we appreciate you calling in and getting us up to date on that. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure, so as a big help, appreciate it a lot. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Dennis. All right, we'll catch you in the future, Marshall. Yep. Have a good one. All right. There you go. That was uh, Marshall and Gracia. He puts on. Uh, he he does this one called Happy Trails Music Festival. You might have heard of yeah, that one, I've guys. Heard of it. And uh, this was, uh, it used to be in the winter, Mm -hmm. and then that thing happened. Mm -hmm. So they moved that. Now he's happy with where he moved it, so he wanted to get back to something for the winter. And it's uh, festival-like, but it's in Mineral (laughs) Spring Malls, right? So uh, something funny over there, Austin? No, no. Isn't that what your teacher used to say to you when you'd make that (laughs) (laughs) time? I didn't go to school. (laughs) Mm. I went to the School of Hard uh, Knocks. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I was. Uh, I think it says that somewhere on one of the websites I was on. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm not really. Facebook. I don't read my own website. That's a bad <laughs> idea. Bad idea. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, they had to uh, cancel. And they, you know, this was like a festival sized thing, so they just reduced it down to the bands that are left over, and they're going to get together and jam. Oh, nice. Kind of free for all it on uh, Saturday down at the uh, conservatory where they like to play what guys original music yeah, that's right You're, those are supposed to be all together mm-hmm. one two three original, original, music. Music. original. so the that's music all right, all right, all right. <laughs> is that how it goes when you're laying tracks yeah I mean, just like that <laughs> usually it's just yeah. like saying oranges or something <laughs> hey uh we're gonna take a minute to uh, catch folks up on what's going down friday okay so there's this thing uh Friday night at the conservatory as well. And, I mean, reading some of these names. You guys got the list over there, any of you guys? Because, I mean, seriously. I, I do. I no. I'm saying the first one is Diesel's Millennium Party. It, do you think I'm pronouncing that word? Yeah, I believe so. Right, because it's got a Z in there. I'm just making sure. Featuring Fireside, right? Fires uh, die. <laughs> I think, I think that's Fireside. There's an eye missing there. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Jarek, because I know that band. Okay. Jarek, what's that one? Kisoma? I, yeah. Okay. It's gotta be. How about the next one? Johnny Ole? <laughs> Ole. Ole? Ola? Uh, kid Bands. That That's obvious. That's, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. gotta be. Desi Dez. Oh, yeah. Dope Boy Society. Mm-hmm. That's us. <laughs> yeah, definitely, you guys. Yeah, we vibe with that. Are you, are you digging some of these names? Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I mean, you got the experience uh, with names like this. I've got, right? I got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and, and finally, DJ MC3. That's happening at the conservatory on Friday night. They do uh, pianos on uh, Friday night at Raging Cajun at nine. Hollywood Five at Fast Eddie's and Alton Heartland at the BFW in Alton. 7 to 10. Grand Band, 7 o'clock at Bakers and Hale and Godfrey. Strangers do at Locks Brick House in Bethalto. West Wind, 8 o'clock at Martin's Tunes and Eats in Wood River. Lanny and Julie at uh, Big Daddy's from 6 to 9. Here's a cool name. Check out this name. Poor Dirty Astronauts. Oh, yeah. Stagger Inn. Is that a cool name or what? Yeah. That is cool. I think so. At the Stagger Inn, I like that one. Right, yeah. Stagger Inn is in Edwardsville, and that's from 5 to 8. Dave Horton, 8 o'clock at the Moose in Edwardsville on Friday. The Silver Creek Bluegrass Band, 7 o'clock at Reese's Brewery, Brewery in Edwardsville. Double Wide Duo, 6 o'clock at the Cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon. Decades Apart, 9.30 at Patrick's in Granite City. Hicktown uh, at Pontoon Beach down there at Deutz, 8.30 to 12.30. John Evans at uh Georgia's local brew in Jerseyville from seven to ten on Friday. Always an open mic at the pog at the Hog Pit in <laughs> Grafton, nice. seven o'clock, right? <laughs> at the Pog Sick. <laughs> Anyways, flip side, eight o'clock till midnight at Smokehouse in Pyron. That's how I say it. I don't know how to say that one either, but I always say Pyron. It's Pyron. It's Pyron. <laughs> Pyron. Pyron. French Pyron. stuff. Pyron. So that's Pinky happening out. Friday night. We are talking to the band Unknown and Sailing. You guys Yo. are. You guys are playing on uh, Sunday, right? Sunday, yeah. Sunday, 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 Sunday at the Red Flag. 
Something yeah, we're nice. also playing on the 28th of uh, January, if you guys want to come down okay. to that. That is a winter wonderland winter show. Showcase. And where's Friday, that going to be at? Friday, Friday, That's also Friday. at the Red Flag. Okay, Friday. Winter Wonder know. Showcase. Mm-hmm. So what's that, like winter two Wonder weeks Wonder later? Wonder. Yeah, two weeks later. Yeah, I don't like to add. But uh, thanks I'm, for that. I'm not going to do the numbers either. But okay. it's about. It's about. <laughs> it's actually 12 days. But <laughs> who's counting? <laughs> who's counting? You. <laughs> the 12 days. Yeah. Who else though? <laughs> Obviously not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the 12 days until another unknown in sailing show. Back yeah. to flag. Back. As yeah. quick right. as possible. Back to back I guess back. some bands canceled, so they needed somebody. That's why you're right Come back on. there. <laughs> well, you guys said it earlier. I'm just. No, this no. Was... We were we were first. We were first pick. Okay. We kept yeah. them hanging though. Yep. Okay. They made a poster without us on. It and everything and then we're like yo put us on there yeah, we're playing put us on. Yeah. man that's amazing so do you know who you're playing with that night more vocal bands Let, yeah, there's hang a hang on <laughs> i'll tell you austin keys will uh inform us this was the uh, 28th uh not this sunday right 28th all right john Uwawa. winter wonderland at the red flag right mm-hmm. all right featuring <laughs> brave new world rock crown unknown in sailing secondhand sin the final pollution and Dr. Fong and the Long Brothers. Nice. They got a good name. Uh, that's a really good name. Like mm-hmm. I'm not sure what it means. Don't know if I want to know. <laughs> but Probably definitely, don't. yeah, something. Be careful me. Googling the final pollution, though, because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That is. Uh, like that's awfully name. close to something else. Yeah, Dude, you it th- might take you to that disturbed song. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you don't want to be there. Yeah, you do. <laughs> So something else you guys have been dabbling with uh, since the last time we uh, conversated, uh, podcasting. I mean, what's we do, we've been doing streams like uh, infrequently, <laughs> right? Where, yeah, we'll play video games or something for a couple hours and just like chat with people or like pile into a bedroom and squeeze very tight and mm. make the bedroom. Mm. Up. Yeah, watch it. Keep it radio so, friendly. A <laughs> I don't want to know what we're doing in yeah. that bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys. You could find this on. <laughs> yeah, what is it like Twitch or something? Uh, we've most been doing face- everything on Facebook because that's where most of our like uh, core group of folks is. Or yeah, and most of our fans at this point are just our friends. So if you guys oh. want to be our non-friends fans, <laughs> we, that'd be welcome. We'd love you to could have be you. some of those We're people. Looking for that new friends, fans actually. first, friends. We're looking second. for new friends and fans that are also our friends. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's how we like to keep it. Friendly fans. Yeah. On your Facebook page, though, it, was there a couple different podcasts I was looking at, probably? Uh, there's another one that I uh, help another group of people that's called DFWAI, and I can't say the whole name of that one right. because it is not friendly. For FCC regulations, but fine on YouTube. Yeah, fine on YouTube. Fine on YouTube. Don't talk about the chemtrails, but you can curse all you <laughs> want and all kinds of other stuff. And yeah. We won't get into the politics. <laughs> so uh, where, where's that? I mean, how can I catch that one? Uh, I don't know because we know? don't we don't have a schedule for it. We've thought about making it a more frequent thing. I've I've talked about like uh, maybe doing it like once a month or biweekly. But uh, no, so far it's just been like we're, we haven't done anything in a while. You want to play some video games and stream? Mm-hmm. Uh, it does. It does fill that void for a moment. Mm-hmm. Um, but you guys do occasionally put out some kind of odd video or just uh, whatever you're kind of thinking of at the time. Yeah, we put out silly videos and skits. There's a <laughs> awesome video of Quaid overdubbing a <laughs> nature video. Um, <laughs> That's pretty mm. funny. Yeah, I don't, I don't even remember where you can find that. Uh, maybe I'll post it on our Facebook. <laughs> just to, I'll post it on our Facebook soon because it's a good one. <laughs> I think it's called Dr. Butchin Foreheads, Foreheads Men. Men. Yeah. yeah. Or something. Nice. <laughs> good That's luck finding gotta it. got to go up. Yeah. It's you on YouTube those, somewhere. You don't put those kind of videos on your YouTube channel. Those ma- mainly the music, right? Uh, From what I remember, uh, yeah, all I our think it's on I need, like all the rectum stuff. Yeah, I'd have to. I need to consolidate all of our th- videos to one YouTube because we have like three different channels uh, that are kind of really? different. Well, I have one that's in my name, and then we have one that's called Rect Rect M Entertainment. Okay, <laughs> which uh, um, didn't get it. Keep going. Yep, <laughs> uh, and that's where that like that was just like skit stuff. That's and, cool. Uh, um. And then our Unknown and Sailing page is all just like music. And I don't know if there's any silly videos on the Unknown and Sailing page, but maybe we should just put them there. (laughs) (laughs) 
Now, it seems like uh, most of the songs I listen to today are based on emotions, wouldn't you say, basically, for your lyrics? Yeah, pretty much. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. You only write when it rains, mm-hmm. right? That's it's kind of the, the time. aggressively yeah. sad. No, I'm not Wander. sad all the time. I'm just sad sometimes when it rains. <laughs> <laughs> Wanders about poking your friend in the eye with a stick. Mm-hmm. It is. Right? Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Mm-hmm. But Billy P- Pilgrim, that's a, that's a story, right? That's a story. That's a Kurt Vonnegut uh, book called Slaughterhouse Five. Mm. And, uh so some of that, some of that is just like uh, plagiarism. Straight yeah, rip. yeah. <laughs> it's a straight yeah. rip for sure. Yeah. No, it <laughs> is a word. quote. Yeah. Yeah. It's a quote. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, some of those are the like mantras that he repeats throughout the book. And, so it's uh, for educational purpose. You're fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It's co- I didn't I didn't hide it. It's called <laughs> Billy Pilgrim. Anybody that knows will understand. Right. But uh, not the first time something's been written about a book. Mm-hmm. No, no one would call a song Charge of the Light Brigade. No, nope. mean, that'd be nope. a total ripoff. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Austin, what do you got? What about what? Uh, I don't know. It's your turn. <laughs> you're, you're, um, you, you needed time. You, you wanted to be. Uh, this is my show. Right. I'm glad you could join me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there you go. I'm, yeah. I'm giving you the floor. Well, I had a thought, and then Uh-oh. it's gone. And you can't say it. <laughs> yeah. Legally. No, I'm. I'm doing my best not to say swears. <laughs> You're doing fine. I know, and it it's just doesn't feel natural. <laughs> well, you know about that poop that goes by, you know. Yeah, you can't worry so about it. So quick. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. even. Can't trip on it. Trip on it, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is the lyric to uh, my favorite song on the uh, last EP. And good from afar. Yeah. I like how you bury that melody. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? It's mm-hmm. kind of a repeating thing, oh, but it's yeah. not a repeating melody. Oh, okay. About yeah. the time you go to sing it, like the last time, there's going to be a slight variation. Mm-hmm. Maybe down the second time. Maybe a stop. And then the word <laughs> trip comes out of nowhere. <laughs> right? But yep. I'm wondering about some of those variations on the melodies. That's consistent throughout songs. It's like, you know, not really a repeating melody, but a variation. And it reminds me of trumpet playing. It could be that. And I I'm think curious if that maybe kind of subconsciously being a trumpet player has come into your melodies. I would I would not be, yeah, I would say so, probably. And there might even be some trumpet on some of the new stuff. Oh, wow. And there might be a guy I know who has a trombone that I have to steal. Okay. <laughs> well, you won't even have That's to steal it. Me? I, just, I didn't know we have a trombone just, on the next record. We don't, but uh, but Bash has a trombone yeah. that I could oh, steal. Yeah. Well, um, I just give it to whip you. Whip it out. Like I did the <laughs> <laughs> trombone solo. <laughs> But, uh, I just give it to you like I did the drums, you know. Yeah. It's like, yeah. They're out of my house, thank God. <laughs> Use them. They were sitting there collecting dust. So. Yeah. Part part of it's just like uh, I like to, I like write three or four songs with the same set of chords, and then so to tie them together, I'll like uh, try and do some kind of, uh, I guess like thematic writing where it's like a few different melodies that kind of come in and out. I'll kind of do the same thing with lyrics too. You talked a little bit about transgression from uh uh progressive to math rock Mm -hmm. the last time you were on so is 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 rhythmically you know more math now is is that where you're going for there it's not meant to be i'm not like uh setting out to write songs in seven four it's just kind of uh i think uh yeah i overexpose myself to technical music and uh so i think it's just kind of my part of my vocabulary now or whatever but uh yeah i don't know i like rhythmic stuff i think i you know is you guys no, are you lost no, don't guys, make fun of are me are you guys lost over there are you trying to figure out what he's talking <laughs> just, about just imagining isaac's <laughs> superiority yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i'm watching his head get really big yeah i was going back to that composer thing you know yeah. All right, I'm a quit making fun of me <laughs> Is that why you're really screaming over top of that stuff? It's like, why yeah, does he that's keep how doing Isaac this? makes me feel. Whenever he goes on a tangent, I just can't help but scream at him. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> don't even pretend I don't tell you where to scream. Yeah. <laughs> I like the layer that provides, though. I think that's the uniqueness in your band. I like it, too. Yeah, it was like what a... Uh, the unique part of the band. Yeah. Like We'd be boring without me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's why I keep you around. The combination of the two is what I'm getting at. You got mm-hmm. your vocal, and then... The added aggression to it. The emphasis. Or yeah, the emphasis. The, the grand right, emphasis. Yeah. Grand. Grand. Wazoo. Yeah. Emphasizer. 
I We're, like that. The Grand Wazoo. That's my, that's my radio <laughs> handle. Welcome back to WBGZ Wazoo. with the Grand Wazoo. Lord Sonko <laughs> and the Grand Wazoo. We, we stole that from Frank Zappa, just so you know. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Actually, it's Lord Sonko anyways. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, do you remember Lord what? Yeah. You do remember mm-hmm. Lord what? I do. His sister, Abby, wrote a song called Lord What. We banged on a piano. Yeah. Is that a is that Not, a Christian no. tune? What? Yes. Mm. It was nice. it, it was all. Oh god! It, it was all. <laughs> 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 okay, we have lost it now. I'm completely off the rails there. Yo. We, <laughs> we played a piano <laughs> loudly. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I I think he's changing colors. <laughs> Maybe yep, both of you um, guys are. Yep, but oh. I was a uh, phrasing, <laughs> phrasing issue there. Yeah, that's a legendary uh, recording we I had. Love, I love how long it kept going until anybody had any emotion about what was. There. No, it was like I heard him say it, but I didn't think anything about right. it. I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> We're all malfunctioning now. Oh, yeah. Especially me. So this is like one of your live shows. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, this is how quickly it erodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you guys are on all the uh, streaming platforms. We are indeed. And you mysteriously show up on video game streams we that do. you don't announce and just <laughs> no. create out of the just, blue. Yeah, so no one will ever listen to them anyways. <laughs> no, people listen to them. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> it's usually just me. Yeah. Me and me. I, <laughs> I'm people. I think no, there we was. should probably do it more officially than, than people could actually tune in and catch it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, follow us on Facebook and maybe you'll scroll by us streaming one day. So what got you guys thinking about doing that stuff? Just to add, add uh, the uh, ability to do it mm-hmm. and, right uh, yeah just you can get it out quicker than you can songs yeah right and uh like yeah um yeah i malfunctioned again but no austin and i generally have like a lot of fun doing those and they seem pretty silly and uh and then anytime we do them as a whole group it's, it's like we all when, once we get done with it uh we've all laughed so much that we can't talk anymore and everyone just gets up and leaves immediately so mm-hmm. <laughs> They're pretty fun. So we are talking to Unknown and Sailing. You do that every once in a while on the radio because, like, people just randomly come across something and mm-hmm. they're like, what's going on here? Yeah, right in right. the middle of so it. This is Unknown and Sailing. They're playing Sunday at Red Flag we on Locust are. Street yes. in St. Louis. Mm-hmm. And uh, what time's that show getting started? I believe doors open at 6. I think doors are at 7. Doors are at 7. Mm-hmm. Show starts at seven thirty. Yeah, yeah. You know about where you guys are going to be in that lineup? Yeah. Headline. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> We've been telling everybody. My mom is stoked. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> it's the big one. Yeah, we're the big cheese. <laughs> you played there enough times now. They're giving you your own plan. Three. Yeah, twice. T- two <laughs> times was enough, and they were like, third time they're headlining. It's the charm, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I don't even want to say headlining. We're top of the poster. <laughs> Is that because you bailed them out a few times, I guess, maybe? I don't know. We were probably the first band to respond to the initial email. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) That leads Yeah. That is accurate right there. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't done anything else accurate in this show, but that that is accurate. (laughs) Yep. So, uh... Respond to emails, friends. You'll have a show. (laughs) Is uh, Forlorn still out there somewhere to get to if if people want to go back in time and check out 2018 Unknown and Sailing? Yeah, yeah. Spotify and YouTube and uh, yeah. Is there any Holloway songs out there? No, not. not. uh, There is one (laughs) on my my YouTube channel, but uh, I'll leave it up just for fun. Yeah. So if you want to look up Isaac Bruce and try and find a YouTube channel that doesn't have to do with football, (laughs) because I've made a mistake there, too. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, any audience is a good audience. You can Mm -hmm. bring up things that you really want to promote as long as you got an audience, right? Mm -hmm. So you got a football YouTube going? No, (laughs) no. My my (laughs) name on YouTube is Isaac Bruce. Oh, right. So if you search it, it just comes up with football. I forgot about that dude. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, yep. he's in the Hall of Fame now too. Yep. Oh, that's a legendary that's, receiver. It is, it is. number it is. eighty. He probably should have went with Isaac Gruen. That yeah, I should have. Yeah, smarter. I don't know why. It, it was, I could change it man. at any time. I, I haven't. Accidental hits, but a lot of down thumbs. Right? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. It's kind of like Unknown and Sailing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no accidental hits. And, lots uh, of down thumbs. Lots of down thumbs. <laughs> this is not the Hall of Famer. <laughs> He don't look nothing like him. Why is this guy playing guitar? <laughs> Looking for receiving yeah, so, plays. So I remember seeing videos uh, on something you were doing uh, where you were shredding on that guitar, solos and all that type of stuff. But on this record, I don't think there's one solo, is there? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. There's like some weedly deedly stuff in the background here and there. But uh, but you no, got it's that, all kind of rhythmic. You got that Petrucci in you, don't you? No. No, he wasn't he wasn't <laughs> no. one of your guys. I wouldn't say I could try. I know you like Dream Theater <laughs> uh, though, and, and you yeah. know what I'm talking about, that neoclassical vibe, yeah, right? I definitely like that stuff and I've learned some of it, but yeah, my guitar playing stops where it go when you go really, really fast. Okay. I can't uh, I can't do the like <laughs> well, I think not me. me. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're pretty good at that. I know, I know. That's because Sound I like can't do it. Me. Yeah, it's because yeah. I can't do it on guitar, That's so I have to just tone. pretend. That's yeah. how our next breakdown yeah. will start. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do the rest. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Come Let's on, guys. You know off. every once in a while you looked over and went, why doesn't he do more of that? That was freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's like, yo, you stop away. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're cool. You're embarrassing us. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Slipped there a little. What slipped? Everything. Did you let off heart? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> we should have lit it. We would have got some ratings. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, you guys are playing Sunday. I want to go over what's happening Saturday real quick and uh, oh, yeah. and then move about uh, for the night because we're up against the clock. And uh, we got this thing called Performing Arts Grab Bag where musicians, spoken word uh, artists and actors and dancers all meet up. And they got like maybe a minute worth of material or maybe they're just going to improv to what everyone else does. And they put their names in a bag and you draw this out. And you have to jump up there and do whatever is going down for like a couple mm. minutes. I would love that. That would yeah. be fun. I would that's love that. Cool? <laughs> yeah, that happens at Jacoby's Art Center, and they do that quite often. So you might want to plan in the future uh, there, Austin. I'm going to go and there. act like I put my name in the bag and then just watch these guys uh, yeah. be fools. When they call your name, point at someone else. <laughs> yeah. Tim, <laughs> make him do it. Not, yeah. not me. Yeah, so that's going on Saturday. We mentioned the uh, jamming at the Springs being canceled, but the super jam afterwards at the uh, conservatory going to start earlier. And then I have listed here, I think you said like 8 o'clock. I, I forgot now. I'll have to go back and listen to the tape, right? Anthony Nanny and company, and then Hollywood Five at Fast Eddie's on uh, Saturday. The Screaming Eagles Jam Band at Chubby's in Alton from 5 to 9 on Saturday. Pianos down at the Raging Cajun again. And uh, Colossal Rex, 7 to 11 at Bakers and Hale in Godfrey. Fred Johnson Band, 7 o'clock at Clifton Terrace Inn in Godfrey. And Lanny and Julie, 8 o'clock at Locks Brick House on on Saturday in Bethalto. Mojo Universe at 8 o'clock at Martin Tunes at Eats in Wood River. Leadfoot at the Tri-County Rod and Gun Club in Brighton. Yeehaw. Sounds like a Brighton place, doesn't it? DJ Block, 10 o'clock at the Franchise in Wood River. Velvet Gold Mine, 9 o'clock at the Pump House in Wood River. Uh, the Four Dirty Astronauts back at it, 9 o'clock at the Back Bar in Edwardsville, right next to the Wild E. Dustin Coleman, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Dave Horton at the Foundry at 2 o'clock in Edwardsville. Butch Moore, 6 o'clock at the Cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon. How about this one? The Catfish Willie Band, 9.30 at Patrick's in Granite City. You know Catfish Willie? Has he ever sailed with you? Catfish no. Willie. Can you say that on Catfish Willie? <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's Catfish <laughs> William. <laughs> no, please. Catfish Willie was my father. Wow. <laughs> Flip side, 8 o'clock at Teagan's in Grand City on Saturday. Hick ta- Hicktown back on Saturday at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. And Money Shot at the Alhambra JC's Benny. <laughs> Money Shot. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you, you threw me off totally. <laughs> Alhambra JC's Benefit in Alhambra. That can mean two things. You know how that goes. Oh, I know all about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you guys are playing on Sunday. On Sunday here in Wood River, we have the uh, open mic with Shell Shack from 3 to 7 at Martin's Tunes and Eats in Wood River. That would be one you guys should hit. They would like you guys there. I'm open just, mic at Shell Shack. Yeah, yeah, write that Shell down. Shack. Write that down. And then there's an open mic at the Stagger Inn, uh, Noah, Stagger Inn. which you like that name. So, yeah. And he's going to stagger on in there. <laughs> I'd be staggering yeah. out for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch all the gigs we announced on uh, cottonmouth.org. We'll have the video out on the YouTube channel 
Is manana really mean tomorrow? I hear that on card. I don't know. <laughs> I always wondered what he means. Manana. So, so I might have said Spanish. I might have said something else. Say I, La Vista. That's right. later, right? <laughs> so, uh, but Sunday, Sunday, Sunday mm-hmm. is the day, right? For After the, Saturday, for mm-hmm. sure. For the headliners, mm-hmm. yes. unknown and sailings, mm-hmm. red flag appearance. Do you guys uh, shove a red red flag up your pole on your ship? Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a red flag to me. <laughs> hey, I want to thank you guys for uh, coming in. And uh, what is it, Ivy, about your godfather disappearing every time you're on the show, except for when he interviewed you with Cottonmouth? Oh, you know, I didn't. I didn't even think about that. Did you but think yeah, about he didn't that? appear for the, the yeah. digital version either. I think he doesn't like me anymore. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think I don't he know. hates me. We'll have to get down to the mystery. I hope I was a better it. pig pen than him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you did a, an outstanding job because who else do I have, right? Not pig pen. Right. But I think Noah did a really good job of kind of bailing you out on a couple of those. I believe so. Right. And I don't Austin, know if he bailed me Austin, out. Austin, you dropped the ball, but I stole the show. Don't even sit over totally there and pretend <laughs> like I didn't. Drop the ball. Don't even sit over there and pretend like I didn't steal this show. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Quade Nash, thanks for putting up with these guys. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. As the coolest member of Unknown and Sailing, do you have anything to say? Thanks um, for bringing what, up. What's a blue and smells like red paint? Um, Red. Uh, blue paint. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ah. Austin's got one. <laughs> I'm hurting. Isaac told me that I can't stutter on a one-line joke, so here I go. Okay. I was sitting in my room looking at my ceiling. It's not the best ceiling in the world, but it's up there. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. We have to go on that number, boys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Check them out. Unknown and Sailing on all social media platforms. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a good search word. It, it's usually you. Nothing else. It's, yeah, so search it and visit and do all the stuff you're supposed to do. Look at all on of it. On social Listen. media. Join in. Love Be it. a part Consume of Consume our music. 20-man team. Buy mm-hmm. product. Buy pain. product. Buy product. <laughs> Consume right. product. Please. Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thanks a lot, guys, for uh, coming in. Best of luck on Sunday. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. Thanks. Thank you. All right, everybody out else, get out there and support local music and art. Mm-hmm.